Right now, I would say that the Big Bang Theory is a solid part of science as we understand it. Uh, anybody who doesn't accept it is regarded by most of the people in the community as essentially a crackpot. But acceptance and understanding are two different things. The Big Bang Theory doesn't yet provide all the answers science seeks to explain how our universe was born. What cosmologists are referring to when they talk about the Big Bang Theory is really only a description of the aftermath of the bang. Uh, the conventional Big Bang Theory says nothing about what banged, why it banged, or what happened before it banged. Right now, at this very second, we're in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Everything we see and hear and taste and smell and touch is the aftermath. The Big Bang is really our evolving, expanding universe. For us, mostly stuck on our rocky little planet, the view of the universe begins with Earth. This is Earth, silicon and oxygen-based, with a metallic core. The surface is mostly water. It teems with life and rotates once every 24 hours while orbiting a star called the Sun every 365 days. This is the Sun, mostly hydrogen and helium. Its surface temperature is nearly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. For energy, our Sun converts 700 million tons of hydrogen into 695 million tons of helium every second. The Sun is part of a solar system formed around 4.5 billion years ago that includes Earth and seven other orbiting planets from Mercury to Neptune. And it isn't a stationary system. Our solar system is spinning, flying through space at 134 miles per second turning in circles as part of a vast collection of stars and star systems. There may be 200 billion stars in this collection called the Milky Way galaxy. An estimated six billion of those stars with planetary systems like ours. Our solar system orbits the center of the Milky Way on one of its outer arms. The Milky Way is one of more than 125 billion galaxies that make up the visible universe. This is the universe. It's really, really big. And it's getting bigger. It's expanding. If the universe is expanding, then it used to be smaller, much smaller. In fact, if we went back in time, we could watch it shrink. Back far enough, and the universe would be smaller than a galaxy. Back, and the universe is smaller than our solar system. Farther back, and everything that exists fits inside a stadium a coffee cup, an atom. 13.7 billion years ago, the universe was smaller than the smallest part of an atom. Unbelievably small. Then, something happened. In a flash, everything suddenly expanded. This was how it all began, the first moment of existence, what we now call the Big Bang. And that's what we know to be true, not because theorists have invented it, but because we've all the observations tell us. We can predict the abundance of light elements, and they agree over 10 orders of magnitude with what we see. So that fundamental picture that the universe is expanding and emerged out of a hot, dense universe, the finite time in the past, is the Big Bang picture. The theory of the Big Bang isn't the sort of thing you figure out overnight. It takes years, centuries of collected wisdom, 
Mankind has been thinking about this for a long time. Even before we realized it, we were thinking about it. Every time we looked up at the stars, we were thinking about it. How do we know what we now know? How did we figure it all out? That's the heart of our story. The story of how our concept of the universe evolved. We stockpile the discoveries of the most brilliant members of our species, allowing us, however strained and with whatever struggle it involves, to slowly ascend the ladder of knowledge. Maybe compensating for the fact that any one of us is just too stupid to figure it all out. So, where do we begin? <laughs>